What is up YouTube? I hope everyone is doing well. It is Tuesday. It is a day after Memorial Day and it is on my, I'm on my lunch break now. Now, you might notice something. Actually, you can't see it. You can't really see it in my back, but let me make the screen a little wider. Okay. Do you see this brown box? There's something in there. I actually bought something for my car because um, it's starting to get warm again and the AC in my car is a little broken. And so I wanted to get something where, anyway, I just bought something for my car. Go check it out. Let's do a time lapse. I'm gonna install it right now. Three, two, one. All right, YouTube. All right, you see, so check it out. Um, this is what I added to my car. I added these visors to my car. Uh, here you go. Um, it's pretty legit, actually. Take, take a look at that. Look at that. Shoot. So this is it. These are the visors that I added. And so I just really wanted, I actually been wanting the, these for about the three years that I had this car, but I've never been actually able to afford it. And then now that I can't afford it, I completely forgot to even buy it in the first place. So now I got it, got what I need. That's why I did my lunch break. Installed, I call, I think they're called window visors. Pretty cool, I'm excited. Pretty legit actually. I messed up on the left side though. <laughs> it's okay, no one will know. All right, I gotta go back to work. I wanna see where my day goes, let's go. And now he has to take a look and say, this ain't fair. How in the world can I be happy? This is, this is, this all came back on him. Dang it, too. Uh, check out this LA traffic, man. It's so bad. Look at that, bro. Look at that traffic. All right, don't mind the dust, okay? I need to clean it, I know. Look at that. Look how fast I'm going right now. Look, how fast does it say I'm going? It says I'm going what? Not barely over zero miles an hour. Welcome to LA traffic, guys. <laughs> did you say Korean? Did, I, did you say Korean barbecue? No, I said you want to eat Korean barbecue. Yeah, I do want to eat Korean barbecue. Are you like recording me or something? <laughs> Wait, why? Why are you saying that? What? <laughs> you asked me to repeat myself. <laughs> you know me so you much. So are. Tell, say, tell YouTube hi. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> But anyway, YouTube, as if you can't tell, Midori and I are trying to think of a place where we should eat lunch or actually dinner together, but we don't know where to go. All right, YouTube, what's up? So I just got here at Korean Barbecue. Right here, it's really bright. Right there, there's Korean Barbecue waiting for Midori right now. Now, there are a few things that I do want to talk about, uh, and I have a list on my phone. Uh, these are some of the things that I'm planning on talking about. It's not a 100% show yet. But here's a list I have on here. How much to charge clients as a freelance developer. How much do I make. The mindset of always being a student and really just being thankful for the hardships you go through as a developer because every developer goes through beginning stages. Every developer goes through a situation where, you know, it's just so hard. And, and there are times when you feel like you want to give up because you just can't understand something. But that is a time when you push hard even more. Because when you're able to pass through that threshold when it's really hard, uh, it's when you know that you can really do it. It's when you feel the best. So what I want to talk about today, after Korean barbecue, after saying goodbye to Midori, is the mindset you need. What you need to make sure you always are. What you need to be every single day at work to make sure that you remain valuable in this industry as a web developer in the code industry. So we'll talk about that later. Let's have some Korean barbecue. Let's go. Hi Midori. So look who it is YouTube, it's Midori, say hi. Hi. All right, let's go get cream barbecue. What's going on? I guess you like my haircut. <laughs> Apparently at this cream barbecue, what they have is that we're allowed to get our own like sides if we want over here. Check it out, look what they got. Oh my, God. oh, look at what? that, oh. <laughs> Why are you so happy, what? <laughs> <sighs> Look at all this. Oh look. shoot, look at the kimchi. The only all right, what's up YouTube? So um, I'm here at the park. I'm not sure if you guys actually recognize this park. Uh, this is the park that I went to when um, I recorded that one video talking about how I almost died. And so, yeah, I figured this would be a good place to talk to you guys, but give me one sec. What is up again, YouTube? 
Uh, Midori and I had Korean barbecue, it was delicious. I honestly didn't think this was really possible, but life is getting even more busy than it ever has before. So anyway, um, before I end the video today, what I do want to talk about, uh, I think it's something that every developer does need to hear, at, at least every aspiring developer needs to hear, because I think this is something that we all do go through. It's something I did go through, I was going through, uh, because I am very extremely competitive. I got really competitive even with my own self too. When it comes to learning code, for example, I'm studying PHP this long, but why am I not this good yet? <laughs> I've been studying uh, JavaScript this long, but why am I not better yet? Why are there still, still some things that I don't grasp or I don't understand yet? And I was hard on myself for such a long time, and then today I went on to lunch with Tony, and he told me at lunch, he said, Chris, man, <laughs> It's kind of crazy how much you've improved because you taught yourself code in three months and you consistently kept studying. And now if I was to compare you to when you first came a couple months ago or a year ago, like you're a totally different person now. But when I saw myself, what I saw was, man, and you know, I have a YouTube channel and you know, I should be better so I could give my YouTube subscribers even that much more better content and help them more. And then it hit me. Wow, I was so hard on myself for so long, for so many months, thinking, why am I not better yet? Why am I not better yet? But honestly, I'm so much better now than I was 10 months ago. Like, I remember when I first started studying JavaScript, I had no idea what a variable was. It made no sense to me. I couldn't really, like, I couldn't even really grasp that. But yeah, I, I could barely even grasp what a variable was, functions, a loop, and now I'm able to write all of that from scratch. And so the fact I've been able to do all this, and now I'm learning PHP, and now I'm learning Ruby, and able to understand it even that much more easily is insane when I think about it now. And I think this is something that even all of us need to learn from too, which is stop trying to be perfect. You could strive for perfection when it comes to becoming a coder, but you'll never be there. You'll never reach there. I know, unless you wrote the actual language, right? You know the language from heart. Even my senior developer isn't the best coder in the world. Yeah, he's amazing, right? But he's not perfect in coding. He makes mistakes. Sometimes he'll ship something he shouldn't have. And <laughs> he'll break the whole system, <laughs> right? And that happens with many other senior developers out there too. And so what I want to share with everyone is stop trying to be perfect, but just be content with progress. Instead of trying to be perfect, make it a goal that every day you learn code, you're actually progressing and getting even that much more better too. Look at yourself, where were you a week ago, right? Where were you two weeks ago? Where were you two days ago? Where were you a month ago, a year ago? You're much better than the person you were at first. You have to think about it, when you first started learning code, the first thing you probably thought, which is what I thought was, how the heck am I gonna learn this? But with effort and determination, you're at where you are now. Now, picture yourself in that with a job now. How the heck am I gonna get a job? <laughs> what does it come with? Perseverance, effort, determination you eventually get there, guys. So stop being so hard on yourself. Just keep learning, keep hustling, keep persevering. Remember, this is all Dev's life, so. <laughs> yeah, that's all I wanted to share. I know it's short, but yeah. All right, guys, I'll see you later. You know, remember, keep hustling. Don't be too hard on yourself. Be thankful for how hard it is, and you know, you're not meant to be perfect at coding right away. But as long as you're progressing, getting better, then be content with that. All right, guys, I got to go. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is Krishan. This is the life of a web developer. And I'm out. Peace. Mm -hmm.